this next video here, um, I'm going to demonstrate to you real life example training on publishing a book, ebook to all the platforms out there and setting it up for um, and paperback, hardback, audiobook as well. Okay, so let's get started. Right? The book is How Expert Guide to Show Pigs. So this is a cover right now for a quick uh, demonstration. It's not the final version, but that's a quick version. Um, so on KDP here, I already set up uh, the Kindle ebook paperback hardcover version. Actually, my team member behind the scenes who I trained in uh, virtual assistant. We have a team for formatting. We have a team for design. We have a team for advertising. We have a team um, for editing. And I'm kind of like, kind of like now, I'm kind of like the composer, kind of right. Uh, working with my team to accomplish this. So shout out to my team member, uh, as well as my other team member learning uh, from this uh, formatting. Because I like to have multiple team members for various projects. I learned that from uh, Ty Lopez. But that's moving forward, okay? Because you want to have multiple team members just in case of backup. Even the best team, championship team, um, back in the days in the NFL, they had Joe Montana, but they also had a backup, Steve Young, both ended up becoming incredible Hall of Famers in the same team. Okay, so anyhow, let's move on. This is a Kindle version of ebook, book title, short subtitle, all set up. Okay, the description is set up. The keywords are inserted. The categories, the two relevant ones are picked. Okay, save and continue. Okay, so moving forward, manuscript is uploaded, the ebook version. You can actually upload a, a Word document version, believe it or not, or PDF or EPUB. But I just like to go with the Word version sometimes for some platforms because it's a lot easier. Uh, Kindle cover has been uploaded as of right now. Um, ISBN is not necessary for Kindle, but I include it. Okay, I have my own and I buy it at myidentifiers.com. Okay, so all territories the pricing has been included and the last button will be publish your Kindle ebook okay um, you know what I'm just gonna go with it right now for time purposes okay I'm just gonna click it and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah I'm just gonna go for it, okay here's the next one uh, this is Apple everything has been set up now the next thing I need to do is click on rights and pricing this is for Apple eBooks. Click on Add New Countries slash Regions. Apply DRM. That's my personal preference. Uh, base currency. I do USD. Release type New Release. Physical list price is usually nineteen ninety nine, and as suggested, Apple Books price is nine ninety nine, which is an eBook. And then on the bottom, click Select All for Apply to All Regions. Click continue. And just scroll down. I just double check. Usually the US and make sure that's 999 for okay, the USD. That's all I check mainly US and UK. Uh US mainly. Confirm. And then I just scroll down and click done. Okay. I don't touch the future countries because if you enable it, it becomes free. And then at the end, I go to the bottom, click on done again. Okay, that's pretty much it. So there you go. Book will be published to M Apple very soon. The next platform is uh, Barnes & Noble. Okay, so this is the book title, the subtitle, description, all that has been inserted. Moving on, save and continue. The categories, genres have been selected. Okay. Um, about the authors, contributors have been uh, information, so settings. Uh, the files have been uploaded, save and continue. Book price is the same as the other ebooks, 999 in USD worldwide. And lastly, click publish. 
So then, congratulations, book has been published to Google Play and Google Bookstore. Okay, the next platform will be um, Find Away Voices. This is a platform for audiobooks, but again, I don't have all the audio files yet ready, but this just for preparation. You know, just, you know, preparation is key to success in any genre, in any, in all aspects of life. So you want to be prepared even before you get the audio. That's why I put the title, description, um, all the author information and everything. The keywords, you know, the categories. I've already done this, okay? Even the ISBN, I purchased one uh, just for the audio book. It's not necessary, but I do. I like to do it for all, you know, just all books, all, all, all books. And I just like to own all my um, assets. So moving forward, set, save changes. And uh, click on distribution. And another important thing is for distribution, they have two options on uh, Find Away Voices. Standard distribution and Voices Plus. I always like Voices Plus because as you can see in the details, if you read this, it reaches out to more stores, I believe, okay? 44 stores in total. Now, what I have to do and what I really recommend if you're using ACX.com, which is owned by Amazon, for publishing audiobooks to Amazon, Audible, and iTunes, then, and you want to use Find Away Voices as an additional platform, you have to come to find a way voice and make sure to uncheck Audible, Amazon, and Apple. Okay, just uncheck it it's because you don't want duplicate products. Okay, so click that and click confirm selections. <sighs> okay, hold on a second. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then when the audio files are ready, then I'm going to come here, upload it. The setup is very similar to ACX. They got the opening credits, the files, the closing credits. Uh, retail sample and then I'll keep moving forward and submit it on find away voices uh, ACX again I don't have all the stuff ready but when I have the book published I will click on add your title and search for the book here by a book name um, and then I will post it as a job and look for narrators on ACX to hire for this particular project okay moving forward the next platform is Ingram spark which is a platform for paperbacks and hardbacks mainly okay which a lot of uh, authors like to use now this is recommended if you uncheck expanded distribution option on amazon for paperback and hardback which is recommended by a lot of self-published authors and whatnot from forms from my research so that's why i like to use ingram spark also i always like to have multiple streams of income not just in one even if i if i put all eggs in one basket just for amazon it might be big i still prefer to have multiple okay baskets multiple streams of income just in case if one falls you have other things to protect okay the business so this is just an example. This is the hardback. All the information has been set up. Continue. However, I don't have I do not have the design files ready. As you can see, six by nine is recommended for hardbacks and paperback. Uh, generally speaking, all the information has been submitted. I'm just gonna click on these. Go down here and click continue. Uh, the files uh, are not completely ready like the design files. So I'm ready. I'm waiting for it. So for that reason, I can't continue. But the interior, I'll upload it here, the PDF file. And interestingly, the same PDF file that works for Amazon paperback and hardback works for here. So upload the P interior here for the book and the design here, which I'm waiting for for my designer. Okay. So that's that. I'm going to just save and exit right now. Okay. That's that for hardback. Now, this is paperback, the same process except it's paperback on Ingram Spark. Okay, I recommend doing both because you want to maximize each book into multiple mediums, okay? Not just one ebook, but you want to turn it into an ebook, paperback, hardback, audiobook, even an online course if you can, even a YouTube video, promotional video to promote the video and social media posts to promote the product. You want to maximize. Continue. Again, I don't have all the files re ready, so I'm going to just save and exit for Ingram Spark paperback project. Okay, right now, next platform is Barnes and Noble Press. This is for ebook. Okay, save and continue. I'm going kind of fast because I want to finish this video as quickly as possible. We're almost done. Uh, two more platforms left, including Barnes and Noble. Next is Kobo. Okay, click save and continue. Authors and contributors section. A lot of times for platforms, generally speaking, if it says optional, I skip it for time purposes, unless it's absolutely necessary, like subtitle. But generally speaking, I skip it if it says optional because I don't want to confuse the process. 
because my job as a publisher and entrepreneur and business owner um, for my publishing business is to continue to hire, continue to publish. Okay, we don't want to, we want to major on the major things, not the minor things, right? So anyways, Barnes & Noble here, put on sale. It's processing. Let me see. Okay, spending, spending the publishing, okay? The last platform is Kobo. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down. Um, and, uh, hold on a second. Interesting to me, but. Okay, I'll upload the newest cover for, for right now. Save and continue. Next. Uh, this is information. Save and continue. Save and continue. The pricing has been set up. Last button, publish ebook. Okay, we'll take it from there. We'll be published in 24 to 72 hours. So there you have it. Real life example. Publishing a book to all the platforms as an ebook, paperback, hardback, and setting up for audiobooks as well for all the platforms. Okay, thanks for watching. Click the link below to check out additional resources. Talk soon. Take care. Bye.